I love you. And then the dude says, I love Amelia. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then the audacity to ask the girl that you, that you just got confessed to. And you ask her, please help me pursue this other girl that I love. Ooh. <laughs> and Rem accepts. Because to Rem, I guess her happiness is Subaru's happiness. And who am I to judge that? But it's just like, damn, bro. It's just like, ooh. Don't worry. There's going to be a lot of separate videos that we're going to farm regarding the whole, does Rem deserve this? Does Subaru deserve this, right? All this shit, don't worry. We got a different, multiple videos. Don't worry. We've already made a couple too. Now, there, regarding the actual plot, uh, some of the most important things that was mentioned in the earlier time was... Um, a little bit of interesting dialogue with Satella and being able to use like 2,000 unseen hands based on Puck's dialogue of like, you need at least like a thousand half of what Satella could do, the shadows. The white whale being referred to as gluttony, which could refer to that like this witch fiend was created by either the Archbishop or the Witch of Gluttony. And then what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Subaru has now been quote unquote redeemed. I'm not really sure if that's the correct word. He's got a spirit back. Rem really fixed him up. And now... This should be the start of something good, unless I'm getting baited. Let's begin today's reaction. Back with Krush? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the reason they would help, though? That's the incentive? By telling them where the white whale is? Does someone want to kill the white whale here? I thought most people want to avoid it. I thought most people want to avoid it. Okay. Right after we rejected Rem. Yeah, Roswell feared that the witch's cult's gonna attack. So what did he do? He fucking left. Because he's scared of the witch's cult. I just... Everything he does contradicts its goals of helping Amelia. But apparently Beatrice said Roswell's future is secured, right? There was some interesting dialogue when Biko sent us through the gate and dropped dead fucking Amelia down to the ground and Subaru and says, don't, you know, fucking, if you're gonna die, do it somewhere where I can't see you. But there was some interesting shit of like, I'm not like Roswell. Like, I'll stand by this shit even if my future is not secured. Like, what is going on with that guy? He's probably my favorite character because he's so mysterious and clown just like, just very enjoyable. Just like Beto the Goose. Here we go. Alliances. Yes. Of course. The white whale. Wilhelm? Why is your aura out? You got something personal with the white whale? Is this the incentive we found? Yo, he's glowing. What the fuck? The area around him is blurring. You during the, the aura is distorting the space in front of him. Look at that. What's going on, Wilhelm? Tell me. Tell me, Wilhelm. Okay. Magic stones. Magic stones. The barriers. <laughs> Wait a minute. You just given away the rights to dig the magic stones in Roswell's domain without having Roswell even be in the. Fucking thing. Like, hello? And right, of course, right? Wilhelm's... The f well, I'm gonna assume the last, like, sword saint was Van Austria. It seems like they are just, like, the family line. I thought that the previous uh, sword saint could have been a different family, but maybe it's Reinhardt's dad or mom. Who knows? Great-grandfather? Who knows? And maybe, you know, Wilhelm has, like, something really... Like, he, he, he's seeking vengeance because the previous sword saint was killed by... It. But it's so interesting how, like... They still remember the sword saint, even though they forgot Rem and the merchants when the whale killed them in that episode. But yeah, right now, he just like, yep, go farm Roswald's fucking stones. Okay. Seems like Wilhelm is really personal about this. Hmm? The suspicion part. Yeah. Yes, yes. My boy learned. My boy memorized. He understood all the important shit. The race did not have him blinded. This is such important intel that we can use during the negotiations right now. Yes. Yeah, all the irons. Russell Fellow. 
So is this dialogue here straight up saying if Crucia's goal right now is literally hoarding up stockpiling all the iron for some sort of military warfare, then Wilhelm, right, his desire is to kill the white whale. That's what the conversation here was. Literally, it was about Krush stockpiling iron, huge military stuff, and then we can mobilize and kill the white whale is the dialogue here when we first showed up. I thought, okay, okay. I, that's what it seems like, right? Goal should be attained. Because I thought that goal was about her getting the fucking throne. I didn't realize it was just about the fucking iron, but maybe I'm wrong here. How do you know the white whale will appear soon? Yeah, how do you... What could he say? Because, again, the problem with the fucking regression is sometimes we say shit that's gonna happen, like the witch's cult's gonna attack, and they ask us, how do you know that? And it's kind of suspicious, right? How- what's the excuse here? Meteor? Are you gonna tell me? Listen, I got this feature technology. It gives me messages from the heavens. The gods tell me. White whale will show up in three days. You just gotta listen! <laughs> Is that gonna really work? Yeah? 15-13. That was the time of the shit happened when we met the whale, yeah? <laughs> Meteor! <laughs> I love how like confused they are with this Nokia flip phone. And they're like, wow, what, what is this thing? How do you open it? <laughs> yeah. Is it gonna work? <gasps> she can kind of understand if you're lying or not. This was mentioned last time about his wrath and his anger and you believing in that and his madness. But like this time, the media, the cell phone. Oh my god. When in doubt, just gaslight them. I got this fucking flip phone. Sorry, media. You just gotta believe me. Oh my god, this fucking cell phone has come in clutch so hard. She has a divine protection of wind reading. What does that do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wind reading. Divine protection mentioned. So that's the lie part? She can detect the truth? That's what tells the truth? A telling wind. She just schizo as fuck, bro. What are you talking about? But like, a telling wind will show up. Some sort of wind will show up and be like, yeah, this motherfucker lying or this guy's telling the truth. Alright. What? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Like, Russell Fel what the fuck? What? 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 Okay, they were in on. Well, she, Anastasia knew Russell Fels in the other run, and he was like, "Oh, Russell, so he's the one doing it." But Anastasia shows up, okay? <laughs> we invited her. Wait, wait. y'all asked us to come. Is this Giga Subaru? Like, like, on another level of thinking right now? Like, he set this shit up just in time. And then phase two of the negotiation? I know that Anastasia doesn't really know Rem. But I'm gonna be very careful to see if anyone actually says Rem other than Subaru. This gal. Okay. Okay. You're gonna help? Why would you help? Make money? I'm not sure why the existence of the white whale would, you know, fuck up their business. Well, the trade route is something, right? Once the fog has said, we had to take such a long way around, right? And that's what really delayed getting to the mansion. And if you apply that logic to, like, trade routes and distribution of goods, I guess it does interfere with them. So it's in their best interest to also... Kill the white whale? Maybe there's something beyond that? Casquad? Mimi? Mimi? Yeah. Roswell Stones. Roswell Stones. Okay. Everything is just... Everything is just coming together.
so beautifully right now. Everyone's incentives, not only Krush, Wilhelm also has a personal grudge against the fucking white whale. Anastasia and Russell both can make money off of this. Can we, can we get Priscilla? <laughs> can we get Priscilla? Uh, the only way to get Priscilla, I feel like, is this. Priscilla, I know you like things being tortured and struggling for your entertainment. So will you come watch the battle against the white whale and at least let Al help me out? I promised I'll show you something fun. And Priscilla will be like, <laughs> maggot, that's interesting. Okay, I'll show up. <laughs> ね、ひとかり行こうぜ。ひ、really。turned He'll trust the eyes, right? Interesting, because last time our eyes showed nothing but just like hopelessness and anger. But this time, Rem buff, bro. Rem buff, he's built back up. Everyone trusts him because he understands the art of the deal. Bro learned so hard from last time. We're good. Now, I wonder if again Priscilla on board, but this is fucking amazing so far. We got Krush and Anastasia. Let's go. Let's go! The yellow truck! We're good! The promise before? No! We're gonna lose our Nokia flip phone! Russell wanted the flip phone? No! <laughs> Actually, I wonder how much battery there's left of this thing. Should it not be running out of battery by now, bro? We are like episode 19. I know there's many different runs we've had to repeat, but like, how many days have passed since we've arrived here? That shit's still going? The battery life is crazy! Rip in peace, Meteor. <sighs> hmm. Yeah? But she was kinda playing with us. Let's go. He did, cause remember, the negotiations pretty much settled before it even begins. It's all about the preparations. You gotta fucking prepare that shit, right? Then you come in dangling what they want in front of them. Then you grab them by the balls. We learn the art of the deal from Anastasia. Good prep. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've heard this in the canon episodes. Because in Memory Snow, she said this exact line like 17 times. But first time I'm hearing in the actual episodes. Whoa, Wilhelm! Wilhelm! Oh, I love this. I love this guy. Because like, when he like got in her way, and he even said like, do you have anything to say when Subaru was super mad? And when he was approaching Krush last time, and he got in the way and just said, he looks so disappointed. I felt like I disappointed my father or something. You know, it's, it's like, oh, not you, Wilhelm. I love you so much. But now, he offers gratitude equal to that, which I offer to my lady, Duchess Krush Karsten. Bro, we're on that royal candidate level right now, thanks to the white whale shit. Let's go. You want, you want to teach me? Some sword play, bro? Some Van Astria sword play? Astria. Yeah. His wife was the sword. And, and I'm not sure if this is Reinhardt's the grandpa or I don't think it's probably grandpa, right? Uh, unless dad, it's kind of too old to be dad, but like, okay. So Teresia von Austria, my wife, the former sword saint that lost to the white whale, Lore. So he married into the Austria family. So he married into the von Austria family. I'm going to assume that the red hair of, you know, Reinhardt is from the main lineage. 
Therefore, he has white hair, but he probably didn't have red hair. But Teresia probably does have that. And therefore, he is the lowest C because he married in. Wilhelm van Astoria. Now, some of you guys are probably going to say, wow, this motherfucker. Wait, wait, wait. You got, some of you are going to say, wow, he really dropped his last name and took on the wife's Van Astria name. Wouldn't you, bro? If your fucking girl was Sword Saint family, Von Austria, bro, I would. I'd drop my last name in a heartbeat. Revenge. He's a venge. He's an avenger. <laughs> we didn't know that, right? Well, we kind of did. Otto told us about the Sword Saint shit, but we didn't clue it back into how it could relate to Wilhelm. But it was there the entire time, and he kind of just got lucky here, right? Lying. Lying. Cap. <laughs> it's good. That was plenty good. That was plenty good. That lie there is a comedic relief. It's perfectly fine. That was great, man. Wilhelm is offering his greatest gratitude on the level of Krush to Natsuki Subaru. This is amazing. Everything is going so fucking well right now. Hi, let's go, army, alliance. Mobilize. And the carriages are bought. Got it. Phoenix. Phoenix. They look happy. The team morale is good. Everyone is locked in. This is great. Bald. Dude, how strong is Wilhelm? He is Von Astrea, married in. But he is the husband of the former sword saint. I'm not going to assume on the same level of Reinhardt's bustedness, but this old man, and he's not even in his prime right now either, right? He's like retired. What kind of swordsmanship is he going to show us, man? Oh, fuck, this is getting so hype. He's been chasing it down the entire time, man? Perfect. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, Felix. So mean. Felix seems to like Subaru, though. Next day? This night is when the whale attacks. Is there the same... Remember the green one that's been like our dragon the entire time? I bet we're going to choose the green one. Because like, I think there's some sort of fucking special connection with that land dragon, bro. And all the other runs in Arc 3 except that time that like Alto's dragon showed up. Or maybe the special connection was Subaru with the dragons. Maybe he's good with not just spirits, but dragons as well. I swear to God, there was the same dragon the entire time, though. Or maybe I'm capping. There was a green one. What? Back at the pal? Is the same one? I'm not sure if this is the actual one in episode 15. Is this the one in episode 15 when it got cut off? Can you guys confirm that? I'm not completely sure if this is the same one. Oh, It's a different dragon? So my guess about the 15 dragon was off. But that land dragon is a breed known for its extreme pride. Oh, kind of sinking with Subaru's pride and, you know... Prideful people seems to like other prideful people a little bit. Priscilla kind of enjoys that shit. But hey, this Ryusha, man. You got a prideful dragon here. Oh, we call Felix Feris now, too. Like the pet name that Krush gives him. Love at first sight. Okay. Confirmed. Felix said Rem. Therefore, in this timeline... They know Rem. So like, I'm just being schizo and paranoid about like Rem being forgotten. Because I thought like, in that episode, same example of how Emilia's conversation seemed a little bit too... It was too important to just reset and get over. But this time I'm like, it seemed a bit too cruel, but okay. <laughs> Is the pecking order literally Emilia, this land dragon, then Rem now? There's Petra too, remember. 
There is Petra. Petra showed affection for Subaru. This is sad. Rim is literally competing with a fucking animal. Re uh, no disrespect to the land dragon, but Rem is literally competing with the fucking land dragon carrier cart. <laughs> this is another level of cucked, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Burries. Burries. Karadagi? Ah, okay, okay. Karadagi really has a lot of beastmen and cat people. And I'm about to go on an unhinged tangent about why this is. What is the character Anastasia? She is a capitalist, loves money. Probably a bit greedy, always willing to min-max her resources. You know who's going to be more expensive to buy? Human mercenaries or beast people mercenaries? Is there a reason that Anastasia's army is filled with cat boys and girls and beastmen because they're cheaper to buy? Or is it simply that Karadagi is... All beast people and no humans. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to make some connections in my head and the pattern of behavior that I'm seeing right now. Hmm. Ricardo, head of the mercenary unit. Her name is Rem. Hello. I like him, Ricardo. Crucian knight armor. She's going in battle? She can fight? Can Anastasia fight? I think Priscilla can fight. We've seen Emilia fight. Krush can apparently fight. Anastasia? I don't really see Anastasia being a fighting type at all. Belt can fight. Belt's not here though. What the fuck is he gonna do? The only thing I can imagine is him AoE provoking with I can return by dust spoiler. It's like, what? Shamak? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, may maybe this is the moment Subaru fucking unlocks the powers of the cult magic with his stench of the miasma and he goes, authority of pride. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's my head can. I'm still waiting for the day that he learns how to fucking do that shit. Like, don't you think it'd be so cool? Because it seems like the witch's miasma is directly correlated to the powers of the archbishops and their unseen hands. Well, that's specific to, you know, um, uh, better use, but like, oh, dude, it's just like, I wanted to be able to fight with the cult shit, man. AoE taunt, AoE taunt. Right, and he also has special move, uh, rapid flashlight with the Meteor, right? He has Shamak, and he has, I can return to the AoE taunt. Is there anything else he has? That's pretty much... Could he kill the whale the same way Satala killed Amelia? Probably not, because we're going with the theory that the envious witch was upset at Subaru telling the secret between them to Amelia, but the whale is not a competition for the love, so I don't think that would work. Right. He's bait. He's basically bait. She's shocked. <laughs> he's saying so much bullshit and cap, but he's not even lying. <laughs> She's just, what the hell am I listening to? That ain't Marcos. Look, no disrespect, but when you see an army like this, do you feel like confident? These are fucking, these dudes literally got, <laughs> it's inscripted from the retirement home. Bald! This ain't Marcos! What the fuck is going on? Ah, so oh. They all want to kill the white whale. Nice! Subaru rarely gets thanked. Like, my headcanon is, they're literally retired knights, but finally... They've heard the news that an opportunity to slay the white whale is here and they're all coming out from retirement houses. <laughs> Boomer unit, let's go! You know what the fucked up thing is though? It's not about the age. It's not. Because like, why are we glazing Wilhelm? But then you see these boomers, right? Wilhelm's even older. 
he actually has like white hair. Wilhelm's like 10 to 20 years older than these. And I'm shitting on these dudes. It's cause Von Austria, baby! It's our same family! <laughs> Literally retired. Nice! Damn, they're all crying. It's that deep. Things are looking so good for us right now. Ah! Okay, there goes my theory about Witch of Gluttony or like uh, the Archbishop of Gluttony creating the Witch Fiend White Whale. The Witch of Envy created the White Whale. 400 years, man. They all probably lost their family and loved ones. Dude, oh my god. Relax, bro. Don't injure yourself yet. What does unscrupulous mean? Is this specific terminology? Because we know that the whale seems to erase memory. Having or showing no moral principles, not honest or fair, okay? The number of graves we cannot even inscribe with names will only rise. As in, there's so many casualties, we don't even know who died. Or, literally, they forgot. But no, no, no. If they forgot, then they wouldn't even know that they died. Because Oto, in that moment, literally just forgot that they fucking existed. So, no, 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 no. I'm reaching here. There are just so much casualties. Let's go. That's right. Amazing speech. Oh, what the fuck? Mimi and Hetaro. Oh, we got another cute cat. Okay. We got Mimi, who is like the second in command. And there's Hetaro as well. Mimi uses like that, you know, mage staff, right? I'm excited to see what Mimi can actually do. Yeah, Mimi is. Borgar. Onei-chan, big sis. The family. Okay, okay. <laughs> is Mimi just camping? Bro, what if they under-deliver? What if Mimi's not hype? Maybe I'm like setting the expectations too high for Mimi just because Vice Commander, man. I... We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, so uh, Gerardo or Hetal, the, the brother is like strategizing. We have Ricardo who is like the captain, right? And the second in command is Mimi. This guy, Ricardo. <laughs> What are they writing? This seems kind of fucked up. Like a beast is writing a beast that looks like the beast, but one is more intelligent than the other. You know what I mean? Rigers. Faster than land dragons, got it. They can fight? They can fight? Alright. You're right. I'm only thinking about the white whale. What if Betrigus literally fucking shows up? Holy shit. Goodbye, Ricardo. No, oh, he's raising team spirits and morale by being kind of a jester and just having fun and throwing jokes. Got it, got it. What a good guy. Oh, yo, the hero inside is about to awaken. <laughs> This is hype, bro. Subaru the hero. <laughs> so now we have the hero Subaru, which is sometimes, you know, the, the hero is, is this sub is specific. I think it's more sweaty, but some other subs call it the sword saint, right? And then there is the sage, which is might be the wise man, which directs to Furugo right here, right? The wise man who could have sealed the dragon. I'm sorry, the witch. And then the dragons, we got the fucking land dragons here. We got all three here, baby. Let's, let's go. And we have Satala inside. Now we camp. Now, what happens if the white whale doesn't show up? 
butterfly effect. You change too many things. The white whale says, fuck it. I'm not going there anymore. We mobilize the entire forces. And it doesn't show up. <laughs> Something bad happens to them back home. And they think that Natsuki Subaru set them up. <laughs> this is still progress. But like, could you imagine? Kena! あれそうですね。スバルク。ちゃんとスクリーン。気に誰かの名前が彫ってあんな。修学旅行じゃあるまいし。いや、スバルクンでも。ちゃんとファッキングエングレイブインツザトリー。レムエックススバルク。
you know how like in Roche today, the president got all jacked and fit for his vice pres, but like, this is like, bro, he became on the sword saint level out of the love to protect her away from her fucking destiny. Damn. So righteous. So cool, man. Is that a flag? Is that a flag? Is that a flag? Is that a Wilhelm might be one of my favorite characters of this show. There's not been much dialogue with him, but you can tell he's such a genuine, sincere man. In this extra characterization of the lore of like, yeah, he married the Sword Saint, but she never wanted to do it, and he did it for her, and oh my god. This guy's so peak. Now, Wilhelm, did you know that your grandson is probably a lolicon? When's the whale showing up? Oh, <laughs> Waiting for that alarm to go off. Oh, the credits are rolling. The credits. So <laughs> okay. It's a pretty generic ringtone. I thought something funny would happen. Like he plays some like otaku shit or some shit. <laughs> Here it comes. So in you know what? I take it back. This ringtone, because of how casual and kind of like cheerful it seems. It's actually more haunting because we're waiting for the white whale to show up. So the contrast of like this like kind of happy-go-lucky ringtone with the suspense of the white whale is actually kind of hitting. Where is it coming up, bro? Did it ghost us? Is it not showing up? When is it coming, bro? Where? Oh, 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 oh. I see the shadows. I saw the shadow. Oh, the ringtone's getting louder. Oh, what the crack? Oh, what? Oh. White whale. Dude, the ringtone is way too fucking loud. And with the fucking difference, you know, uh, the, the black scenes was mixed up in the middle. It's actually getting haunting now. Uh, uh. I love that Subaru got the fucking early call there. Kurichi was about to say, let's go. Subaru was fucking ready. Yeah. My man's going in. I, I, I kind of wish that he did this. I wish he went, did this fucking pose too, but this is good. Join! I'm not talking about it! Just again! Kurushi is actually so scared there. She was. But you see the smirk here as Subaru and Rem going in with that dumbass pose is, you know, making them feel more relaxed. Let's go. Ah! Boss Raid Man. Bro, it's happening. Battle against the White Whale. This is a whole on fucking raid, bro. Gigantic raid on the whale. This, this episode is genuinely just like... Such such a good redemption compared to the last runs, right? Ever since you know Rem fixed us up last episode, we remembered everything that was important in the art of the deal, coming in prepared, dangling what they want, understanding other people's incentives, and the white whale thing I think was just dumb luck, right? It's not that he connected what Otto said about the white whale killing the previous source saint, and then understanding that Wilhelm might have something to do with the previous source saint due to the Van Austria legacy, but he did get lucky, but it's still fine. Everything is fucking working out. Anastasia's with us. Crucius with us. Everyone's good. Wilhelm is showing us gratitude on the same level as he offers his, like, his master. We have this new dragon who is apparently the most prideful, you know, dragon ever. And it just resonates with Subaru, which is pretty sick. We got to meet new people from, like, uh, Anastasia's party and Crucius' party. There's a lot of people that have... That has gotten their lives like fucked up by the white whale. I never realized that for 400 years, so many people were just getting messed up by the white whale. There's so many incentives for them to, you know, ban. Like dudes are coming out of retirement homes to fight against the white whale right now. Things are getting so hype. Ricardo is pretty cool. Mimi is cute as all hell. And bro, this whole Wilhelm backstory is brilliant. Like, 
I was wishing that they would show him more, like have more focus, but I was worried that he was just like a butler, so he didn't, what he wasn't as important as Reinhardt. But if Reinhardt's gone, we still have another Van Oster to, you know, uh, rely on. And Wilhelm, he literally became Sword Saint title to take away that responsibility from his wife that he married into because she never wanted to be that. But the sword chose her. It's so beautiful. He loved, you know, the flower bed because his wife loved that shit. I'm saying that we should bring him back to the fucking, our village of the secret hideout where the flower bed is and give him a flower crown too. But Wilhelm and Subaru's relationship, it's only gonna get better if we give him this opportunity to get the revenge. I hope there wasn't too many death flags, right? That could kind of fuck us up. Wilhelm was saying shit like, I can finally, you know, go visit you in your grave and shit, but I hope it's more literal than metaphorical. And this ringtone part? Bro, this ringtone part? It started off kind of just goofy and just casual, but as the suspense builds up while we're trying to see where the whale's gonna be, and then the ringtone gets louder and louder with a distortion of the black screens mixed in as the white whale shows up and everyone is shocked. Crucia shocked, nobody can move. And then Silver gets the early one. And he goes in and Cruz realizes, huh, with these two idiots, I think we can do this. And then the battle starts against the White Whale, man. Peak fucking episode. And next episode on Onwards, I bet it's gonna get even better. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.